in this video i'm going to show you how to add social media icons to your videos or even images or whatsoever using wondershare Fimora, and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you are old here thank you so much for showing up inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using in this video some of them are premium features which i'll be giving out for free i'll leave a separate link to that as well so you might want to download them and practice with this now we also be making use of wondershare filmora 9 that is the video editor that i'll be using for this particular tutorial so you can download that a link also will be in the description now let's assume that this is the video that we want to use and we are going to perform three different sections on how to add your social media icon to your videos the first one is by using what we call png files png files are basically files without any background so once you place it onto your video your picture or anything it has no background so it is automatically going to be transparent and it's going to assume the background of the subjects that you are using so i've got a couple of the png files over here for you for instance this whatsapp icon here is a png file so that means that if i drag this into wondershare filmora and i place it at the media folder over here you realize that when i drag it onto my video and play it it is basically going to assume the background of my current video so when i play it like this you see how it actually works so let me just go back like this and play it over this is how it actually happened now once you bring this one in you can scale it adjust it or anyhow you want it so for instance i want to place it somewhere around here so my whatsapp or you want to add your whatsapp contact to your video so once you place it over there you can go back and play over and then it can appear just like that now the beauty of wondershare filmora is that you can easily add animations to your png icons or your social media icons so for instance i double click on this one and then it will take me to the properties of which i can select the motion right over here and i can choose on any of the motion so once you place your cursor it will tell you or it will show you how your motion is going to be like so for instance i want it to come from the left to the right i can double click on this one and then this is how it will actually show so once i bring it over here i bring my cursor over here and i play it over that is how it actually looks like now this is very simple to do after you're done with this you can easily go ahead and go to the titles over here to add your test so i can go to the titles and then open my titles over here and i can drag something like let me use this one right over here now i can easily double click on the title or the test if you want to call it that way and then i can add my test so something like plus 233 and then you add your number like that so you scale it right over there and then you can drag it to this place so somewhere around here now let's try and take this particular icon to this side because that is where it's going to be very visible and then we can drag the number also to this side so you can just take your time to position it you select each one of them and then you can even use the arrow keys to place it like that and for the test also you can give it an animation so how the test actually is also going to come in so we can give it something like the linear wipe over here so something like that now let's go back and play over and see how it actually looks like and that is the first step in adding social media icons to your videos in wondershare filmora now let's take a look at the second way to do this i'm going to get rid of all of these ones and i just go ahead and delete them the second method is using green screen animated icons so i got or i downloaded a lower third social media green screen that you can make use of if you don't know how to use green screens i made a full tutorial on how to use that link will be in the description 
so you drag that also into your wondershare filmora media files and the thing about green screen is that all that we did recently the animation everything has already been taken care of all that you need to do is bring it onto your timeline and get rid of the greens so i'll leave link to download this particular green screen also in the description now once you have it in here you just go ahead and then you can drop it onto your video always make sure that your social media icon is on top of the video layer so you realize that i have the first layer over here and i have a second one also here now we just skip to the parts that we want now for instance this one is going to give us an animated green screen of youtube okay so if you want to cut it you just bring it to this portion and then you make sure that right over there let's say here you just cut it from here so you are going to press ctrl b to cut that and you right click and then you delete the layer so it starts right from here and then it goes to the very part that it vanishes from your screen so right there now once we get it to this particular point so right over here we are just going to make another cut so you bring your cursor over there and then you press ctrl b to cut it again now you go ahead and you select the other side that you don't want and then we can delete it so something like that now after we've gotten this the next thing we need to do is we need to right click on this particular timeline and then we're going to go to green screen that is if you are using wondershare Fimura. if you are using other softwares like premiere pro davinci resolve and then final cut it might be a different approach now after we get this all that we need to do is we're going to set the offset to about 10 and then we can go ahead and click ok now since this already comes with an animation we don't actually have to apply any other animation now let's see how it actually looks like so this is how it actually looks like very simple and clean and then you can go ahead and click on that and then you can reduce it to the size that you want so you can reduce it to this very side something like this and let's go back and play and see how it actually looks like so right over here after the full animation has come into place you can then go ahead and add your test so i can add a test over here and then i can add now once i have this i can go to the advanced over here since the background is white the background for the lower third is white i can change this one to something like black okay so i can choose black over here and then i can decrease my test like that so that it will fit into the space that has been provided for us so something like this and then you can close it up a little bit so why don't we actually open the lower third and now we can select our test and try to position it over here now let's play back and see how it actually looks like that is very simple right and then you can drag the test to the very end else it is going to vanish in the middle so you can drag the test to the very point where the social media icon is vanishing so right over here and then it vanishes with the test so in order to make that very smooth we are going to also add an animation to the test so if you play back this is how it's actually going to look like so that means that we need to cut or we need to drag the test to the very point that the green screen is vanishing so that it will just vanish with the test all at the same time so something simple like that now for the green screen there are a couple of them so if you drag this over here you see that we have the same thing for instagram follow me on instagram at say underscore innocent so i can copy my test right over here copy that and paste it over here i can double click on it and i'll just edit this one and type in at say underscore innocent for instagram so once it gets to the instagram section so once instagram comes in the test also comes over there and when you skip forward to the parts of facebook you can copy the same thing and then paste it so it is basically the same procedure to do for the same or different social media handles now let's look at step three where we can actually customize our own 
social media icons with the help of a third party like photoshop now i'm going to get rid of all of these ones and then i'll head straight into photoshop so right over here like this you just set a 1920 by 1080 something like that and then you go ahead and you create now to do this you can use any of the shapes over here and then you can choose something like the rectangle or the rounded rectangle now let's go ahead and create a very nice rounded rectangle over here we can give it any color that we want so for instance if you are creating for youtube we choose red if you are creating for instagram you choose the instagram color and if you are creating for facebook you choose blue i did a tutorial tutorial on how to create a costume lower third you can watch that also in the description now after you've created this you go ahead and you can bring in something like okay so let me change this one to blue so that we can make use of facebook so i double click on the layer thumbnail here and then i can choose the color blue this is not blue so this one right over here and now i can go ahead and click ok now let's go and bring our social media icon right into photoshop and you drag it onto a separate document now you can choose something like the rectangular marquee to make a selection press ctrl j to copy that and then you can send it into your current document and then you can press ctrl t to actually resize it and then you position it over here now this is very recommended if you are going to be using the same thing over and over again so you can do it for the rest of the social media and then you can be using it over time now let's go ahead and pick a test tool and create a test on top of this one so we're going to type in here innocent keyboarding so that is my facebook account and then i can press ctrl t and open it up like this and push it to the very right side we are going to get rid of the background so that it will be a png select c to crop it into something like this so we crop it in like that and then you double click on it and now you go ahead and press ctrl shift and s to save it as a different document now you're going to save it as a png and then we can actually give this you know facebook right and then we can save it now once we go to desktop we have it right over here and we can drag it inside of wondershare filmora right over here and now we can drag it onto our timeline like that select the whole of this and repeat the same process so you can select this one resize it and then you can bring it over here somewhere over here like that and now if you play back this is what we have but then we want to make it something nicely looking so we go ahead and double click on it and then we can add a motion to it so let me just go and find something like this one right over here and now if i play back this is how it's actually going to look like very simple and clean let's try another motion and see how it actually looks like so something like this and it looks very clean now this whole thing can be even more interesting when you add sound effects to it so that it will sound something like this and that's basically it three different ways to add social media icons to your videos using wondershare filmora i hope you gained value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very satisfying and thank you so much for sticking around to this very point now let me know in the comment section which software you use to edit your videos and if you want to watch more of such tutorials wondershare filmora tutorials check the description for many tutorials are in there thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye